First, I'm going to show you how to prepare your nib. The manufacturer coats the nibs so they probably won't hold ink if you use them straight out of the box. To eliminate the coating, run your nib through a lighter flame for just a second and then gently wipe it down with a cloth or paper towel. Place your nib into your pen holder and make sure the nib points downward in a way that it will hit the paper evenly on both tines. I like using dinky dips because they are just the right size for dipping the nib without getting ink all over my hands or my fingers. When we're dipping the pen we want to make sure the ink covers the reservoir. Let any excess ink flow back into the jar and make a couple of marks on your scratch paper to see that it's flowing. Okay, so I showed you how to prep your nib, how to use the ink. Let me just take a quick moment and tell you about the rest of the workspace, all your papers. You want to take a couple of sheets of printer paper as padding because you never want to write directly on a hard surface. And then you have printed out the guidelines. So you have the padding paper and the guidelines and then the rhodia paper on top that you're actually going to write on. Now this is what we call a guard sheet because you will be resting your hand on the writing paper and the oils from your skin are going to be interfering with the ink. So we don't want that. So you always want a guard sheet between your hand and the writing paper. And last but not least, this is a scratch paper. As you can see, when I first dip my pen into the ink, I make just a few marks to make sure that the ink is flowing. The last thing that I want you to know is the demonstrations that I'm going to show you will show my page as if it is lying like this straight before me. And it won't be because again, the copper plate is written at a 55 degree angle. So to help me get the right angle, I want to rotate the right-handed people want to rotate the paper counterclockwise so that it's almost vertical. And then al align your elbow and your wrist so that the nib is pointed according to the slant angle. So make sure that you give your body and your posture and your, your hand more than anything all the help it can get so that you don't have to um, sit funny to get the proper <laughs> copper plate forms down. So align the nib and your elbow and your arm with this 55 degree slant angle. If you're a lefty, you'll be using the straight nib and you're coming from the other side. So you might actually keep your paper straight or rotate it a little bit clockwise the other way so that you are comfortable writing about it. And of course, you're going to have the guard sheet on for your right hand and you're going to be dipping the ink on the left hand side and go like this and have your scratch sheet on the left as well. Can you tell I'm not a left-hander, but I hope this demonstrates how to do it.